India is known for its various traditional systems of medicines which have been developed and practiced since time immemorial. It is also bestowed with a wide range of agroecological conditions and is considered as the storehouse of the medicinal and aromatic plants of the world. Considering the need of cultivation and recognizing the growth potential of this newly emerging herbal sector, the Indian Council of Agricultural Research created a National Research Center for Medicinal and Aromatic Plants in 1992 at Boriavi Anand with a well-defined mandate to work on medicinal and aromatic crops. The NRC has been rechristened as the Directorate of Medicinal and Aromatic Plants Research in the 11th plan. The institute is having a total area of 40.5 hectares at two locations, Boyavi Main Campus and Lambwell. In the organization setup of institute, the director is the head who is supported by advisory boards, namely Research Advisory Committee, Institute Management Committee and Institute Research Committee for shaping and monitoring of research and financial expenditure. Besides, the institute is also having an outreach research program of All India Coordinated Medicinal and Aromatic Plants and Beetle Vine, which is operated through its 22 centers distributed throughout the country in major agroclimatic zones. It also has central facilities like Agricultural Knowledge Management Unit, Library, Farm, Nursery, Field Gene Bank and Laboratories with latest equipments such as GCMS, LCMS, AAS, HPLC, HPTLC, Ploidy Analyzer and others. The Directorate is working on nine mandate crops with the following objectives. Alloy Alloy barbadensis. Its leaves contain gel and exudates a bitter active principle called alloin. The crop yields 10 to 12 tons per hectare per harvest. Ashwagandha Withania somnifera. The roots of this plant contain alkaloids and vithanoloids. The crop is ready in 6 months with an average yield of 700 to 800 kilograms of dry root per hectare. Giloy Tinospora cordifolia. The stem and leaves have active ingredients such as starch, tinosporide and cordifol. Dry stem yield of 8 tons per hectare can be obtained. Google Comifora Victi. This plant is source of ole gum resin which can yield 200 to 220 grams of gum per plant. Isabel Plantego Oveta its seed husk is the economic part and seed yield of 1000 to 1200 kilograms can be obtained from 1 hectare. Safed Musli Glorifitum Borivillianum The roots of this plant possess active ingredients, saponins. Fresh root yield of 10 to 15 tons can be obtained from 1 hectare. Senna Cassia Augustifolia Its leaves, flower and pods are the source of senocides. It yields an average of 7 to 10 quintals of dry leaves and 4 to 5 quintals of pods per hectare. Lemongrass Simbopogon flexusus. The leaves and shoots of this grass yield essential oil which is rich in citral. A herbal yield of 80 to 100 kilograms of essential oil can be obtained from 1 hectare. Palma Rosa Simbopogon martini Variety Motia it is an aromatic grass which yields essential oil rich in geraniol. Essential oil yield of 350 kilograms can be obtained per hectare. In addition to these mandate crops, the research is also being conducted on other important crops like Artemisia, Acelio, Bale, Desmodium, 
काल मेघ मधु नाशिनी मधु कपर्णी मेजो एंड सतावरी अचीवमेंट्स क्रॉप इंप्रूवमेंट DMAPR is one of the national active germ plasm site for the conservation of medicinal and aromatic plants a botanical garden and field gene bank for ex situ conservation of medicinal and aromatic plants is being maintained in 21 hectares which has a rich collection of 641 accessions DMAPR has developed several elite germ plasms of various medicinal and aromatic crops which are registered with NBPGR New Delhi. The DMAPR has also released Vallabh Medha, a new high yielding variety of Manduka Parani, Centella Asiatica, which after yields common plant type of 5 times and is also superior in terms of yield of phytochemical constituents. Molecular characterization of the germ plasm using DNA markers of the mandate crops are also going on. Protection of plant varieties and farmers right authority PPVFRA has recognized DMAPR as one of the DAS testing centers for medicinal plants and spices. Crop production and biotechnology In vitro mass multiplication protocols for aloe vera, sabet musli and licorice have been standardized good agricultural practices gap for some medicinal and aromatic plants has been developed and is being refined further a good agricultural and collection practices gacp training toolkit for medicinal plants has been developed in collaboration with food and agriculture organization Emphasis is also being given to post harvest technology and value addition of medicinal and aromatic plants. Phytochemistry Protocols for extraction, estimation and chemical fingerprinting of active principal components from aloe, artemisia, ashwagandha, andrographis, bale, centella, anecostema and google have been standardized. Crop protection In the field of plant protection also the institute has done a remarkable work insect pests and diseases associated with the mandated and other important medicinal and aromatic crops have been reported their management using certain botanical is being evaluated agricultural knowledge management unit The institute has developed some useful software packages like digital photo library, digital herbarium of medicinal and aromatic plants in India and a web-based network on herbal garden in India. Intellectual property rights in its quest to protect the intellectual properties, DMAPR has filed two process patents in India. A process for extraction and purification of aloe from aloe filed in 2008 it is an easy quicker efficient and cost effective method in which maximum recovery of aloe with 90 to 95% purity is assured improved gum tapping in google filed in 2009 through this method increased gum yield per plant at any period of the year can be obtained extension The directorate is doing pioneering work for the benefit of farmers and entrepreneur. Technologies developed by the directorate are being transferred to the farmers and other stakeholders through frontline demonstrations and training programs. The farmers who adopted the technologies are earning more profits. In order to provide a forum for the exchange and dissemination of research information and experiences, the directorate has established medicinal and Aromatic Plants Association of India Mumbai in November 2008 The association is also publishing an open access journal of medicinal and aromatic plants There are various services available from the institute on payment basis DMAPR under the aegis of ICAR is shaping the future research in the medicinal and aromatic plant sector the journey of the DMAPR with the dedicated team of agricultural scientists and staff 
is moving forward to boost the research and cultivation of medicinal and aromatic plants, considering its future importance in the global scenario. For any further information, you can visit us at 